give him some steroids to treat it. All right. So this is Turk's Ross syndrome. For for Wegener's granulomatosis, this is also a necrotizing granulo uh, granulomatosis disease without eosinophils. So there are no eosinophils here. As you can see, uh, Turk's Ross is called uh, eosinophilic. But this is not called eosinophilic because this is not an allergy associated vasculitis. All right. So uh, in this, you can remember. Just remember Wegner's. Just replace the just replace the G with C here. All right. Wegner's. So uh, this with this C, we can remember a few things. So first of all, the main thing that we have to remember is C and K. C and K, which is the again uh, the you know very specific the most one of the most specific tests for Wegener's granulomatosis, and after that uh, you can remember C for crusting. So you'll have nasal crusting. So you can see in this image uh, there is some you know nasal crusting here. So uh, so this will uh, nasal crusting and other nose symptoms also like saddle shaped nose again. Uh, so this saddle shaped nose. And crusting are seen in Wegener's granulomatosis. So C for crusting, and uh, you'll also have chronic sinusitis. You can rem either remember chronic sinusitis or sinusitis in general because S is very similar to C. All right, and then again you'll have nasal symptoms like epistaxis. Uh, these are upper URT symptoms because these are affecting your nose. Uh, your lungs also will be affected. So when your lungs are affected. That will, uh, th since there is a granuloma, that will lead to hemoptysis, uh, and then uh, you'll have dyspnea, and your kidneys. Like I said previously, your kidneys are almost always affected when there is vasculitis. That will lead to glomerulonephritis, which will present as hematuria. Uh, so when you do investigations, you'll see Cianca for sure. RBC casts in urine will be seen. Again, this you can remember with the C casts, uh, C for casts. And when you do biopsy, you'll get poly, uh, you'll get uh, gran necrotizing granulomatos, granulomas. You'll be able to see in the biopsy, but there won't be any eosinophils.